Hey, what's going on, guys? This is TaibaHasaKicks.com, and today we are going to talk about the Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro gift of Mamba. But before I delve into the details of the shoe, I do want to give a quick tribute to Kobe. Now, Kobe Kobe, also known as the Black Mamba. If you're a Celtics fan, then Kobe was your enemy. I remember in 2010 when he burned my Celtics. I didn't get over that. I remember sleeping at night and just having some nightmares about Kobe Bryant, man. Like, the dude in the fourth quarter was incredible. You had the ball. He had the ball. He was triple team, double team. You knew he was going to take the shot and he was going to make that shot. So you were sitting on the couch scared to death. Now, I didn't like Kobe until 2012 when he played with the Dream Team. That's when I grew to like him. I was like, whoa, this guy is actually incredible. Best two-way player I've seen. Deadly mid-range. He had no holes in his game whatsoever. You know, I don't know if I should say that, but Kobe was incredible. As a Celtics fan, it's blasphemous. But I have to admit. So, uh, his name echoes to the annals of basketball history. He had unparalleled skill. He was relentless. And he was determined to win. And he went for it. So, I'm so glad that Nike is keeping his legacy on. And I'm so glad for the shoes that we've had. I know he's, he tragically was taken away from us. And I don't want to get into the detail of Kobe's passing. But one thing is certain, his member mentality legacy lives on. And I'm so glad that Nike is really bringing back, especially some of the best silhouette that we've seen. And the four is one of my favorites. So I can't wait to see if I can get my hands on one of those shoes. So today we're going to talk about pricing. We're going to talk about where to get it. And then we're also going to talk about the resale value. So talking about the shoe, the shoe looks incredible. It's all black. You know, I'm a conservative guy, so I don't like too much color on my shoe. All black shoe would do for me. So it comes with a suede a leather upper and then you have some kind of full leather on the four foot straps uh, and four foot overlay and then the swoosh logo and next to the ankle liner you have some more of that full leather overlay it's a, that you know, snake scale the black mamba and then and i guess on the midsole you have a zoom air unit and the the, the, the midsole is really springy it's like cushiony it's built with uh, foam material and this is all for again this shoe was built for basketball purposes so and no gimmicks with the kobe shoes man they are built for um, basketball aesthetic is incredible i love the kobe 4 silhouette it's one of the best silhouette ever and the shoe actually delivers on the court as well so you have also kobe logos on the outside of the tongue and you also have the nike swoosh logo on the midsection which i discussed and then on the back side on the tpu plate you have a kobe signature there which is typical of most kobe sneakers and then your threads have herringbone threads and a little bit of like in interesting material um interesting patterns there and carbon fiber shank i think at the bottom there's a carbon fiber shank if i'm not mistaken on this kobe snap perforations on the toe box that's for your ventilation purposes and again great shoe i love the blackout I don't know if I'll be able to get the shoe because it's going to be super hard to get. The only place that I get in them are Nike US and Sneaker Politics. And then you also have Bodegas getting it. And the shoe is going to cost about $190. So again, it's an all black shoe and I'm looking forward to getting that. Now let's discuss uh, pricing and resale and all of that stuff because I know a lot of people want to discuss that. So what I did was I went and collected some data and between the 25th and the 26th of December, again, Right now, between from the 25th to the 26th, which is from Christmas to today, the shoe went from $410 to $426. That's like a $16 bump. And the average sale price at this moment is about $413. Again, this shoe should not come as a surprise because you know a lot of people are going to want to get it. And as of now, the sell-through rate is like 67%. That's like 1.7 times the average sell through rate that's excellent news if you're trying to sell this you're not going to sit on it too long a lot of people want it i actually want the shoe so that went ahead and also found the five number summary so what i did what i found out was the lowest sale recorded was like 250 that's for a size four and that size also happened to be an outlier so that's not going to happen that's not typical now about 25 percent of the shoes sold between 250 dollars to 376 and then half of them, that's 50%, sold between 376 and 447. And the highest sale were about 25% of the shoes, and they were between 447 and 524. Now, if you include the outlier, the overall average sale value is $414, and that's it with a 12.5% volatility. Now, that volatility is below normal. That's good news, so that means there's not going to be too much variation 
in the prices or the shoes so it's not going to change too much from the average resale value so that's great so at 414 if you were to sell this shoe at 414 dollars you'd be earning about 176 dollars in profit and that's like an 88 percent markup and that gives you about 5.8 times above average which is great 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 news if you're looking to capitalize on it i'm sure you'll spend a lot of money on christmas so you, you try to recover some of that money back. So if you can get access to this Kobe 4 Pro Tro gift of Christmas, gift of Mamba, you're going to definitely earn some good dividends. Now, as far as like the earning by size, if you sell a size 8, you make about $85. If you sell a size 4, you make about $26. If you sell a size 9, you make $122. If you sell a size 9.5, you make $157. If you sell a size 10, you make $145. If you make, if you sell a size 10 and a half, you make 169. If you sell a size 11, 195. Size 11 and a half, you make 198. Size 12, you make 211. Size 13, you make 232. And in size 14, you make 258. So what's the story? The larger the size, the higher the profit. So if you want to capitalize on the shoe, aim for sizes 11 and higher. Any other size will do just fine. But if you really want, a lot of money that you need to aim for sizes 11 12 13 and anything that's above that because people want the shoe again it's a great shoe for resellers and it's also a great investment i'm sure it's going to keep going up in price as time progresses and again the aesthetic is amazing it's a great shoe so it's a win either way win because i love conservative colors the silhouette is incredible leather is incredible good on the court now i've not watched a full uh performance report on it yeah but i'm sure the kobe 4 was always great i like the kobe 4 rice the kobe 4 copy dm there's a bunch of the four silhouette was incredible so if i can get this shoe i'm gonna get it if i can't get it from retail i might have to look at some other options you know what i'm talking about i might look for those options we'll see but as of now know that if you get this shoe you're gonna make some money again if you like this type of content please give it a like and subscribe to houseofkicks.com again thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.